In this video, I speed round the seed of the new 1.16 RSG world record set by Dugal this morning of 8 minutes and 10 seconds. And you'll see right off the bat here, you can see play map with spade treasure, I'm able to instantly get a buried treasure for a head to these trees and I use uh, one of my 40 and T, and I make lots of use of this TNT throughout the run to grab a bunch of uh, logs as well as dirt which I'm going to use for building blocks. Most importantly the logs, so I'm basically, within 50 seconds I'm leaving my island with all my tools and stuff, so really good time here, and then I'm able to get flint pretty quickly. I actually had to reset a lot of runs there to flint which was kind of annoying but overall this is like a really really good overworld and I enter a similar time to him as there's not really that much time to be saved like when you've scouted it so I enter that uh, sub 130 here which is still like really good pace. And now I'm going to use my dirt bit to help me get towards the bastion and just run towards it and do my manhunt housing route. You'll see there I did get a bit bothered because there are like a bunch of pingers in the middle but I was able to make it work. And because I've got the diamond pick, I don't have to do like the block off thing, I can just mine straight through, which is pretty nice. And you'll see in this bastion, the amount of pigs I got here, and basically any time I did this route, was just like an absolutely ridiculous amount of piglins. Maybe like 15, 20 piglins, and I barely had to wait at all for like trades. And it's the same on this run, as I get my string and my pearls really quickly, go to the chest, grab it for the extra obsidian to build my portal, and then I'm instantly out of the bastion, and I start pulling towards my fortress. It is three pearl throws away, this isn't like the best either, it's still obviously very good. But I'm able to get to my fortress, soil some inventory stuff on the way. And unfortunately it's just a single spawner here, but I'm able to use this uh, blaze TNT in this nice setup which will basically perfectly clear out the area. Though I still, still did have a lot of runs reset for from blaze rates here. And you'll see this lava comes down. Of like, I ran the sea for like over two hours, and that never happened once when I did the blaze TNT, so it was obviously just like explosion RNG. But there I get like really good rates, again it was something I did have to reset for a lot but I'm really happy with that and I'm able to build my portal in about 5 minutes. So I'm in my second portal about the same time he built his first portal. I did fuck that up a bit there but it's all okay. And you'll see the end fight's really ridiculous, like Minecraft Avenger ridiculous. And I ha unfortunately wasn't able to get the blind strain to portal so I have to tower up a few blocks from the ravine. But I'm entering my end in 5 minutes 30. And you'll see this end fight is pretty crazy. So I pull to the middle, sell my stuff and go to craft beds. And the moment I turn around, it's already perched and I barely make this. So hope you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy the one cycle. 